Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm just house sitting for a friend and playing some NES games because I'm in need of some entertainment. But unfortunately, his collection's a little light, so I've got slim pickings. You know, it's crazy to think that in the United States, the NES almost wasn't a thing. After the game crash of 1983, Americans wanted nothing to do with anything video or game, much less the two together, so Nintendo had a challenge on their hands in terms of marketing it. Fortunately, they were able to market it as a toy rather than a video game system, so packaged in with traditional video game things like the controller, they also had the light gun and a robot, because kids in the 80s love robots. Heck, kids today love robots. Uh, unfortunately, this robot, or the robotic operating buddy, or Rob as most call him, is hard to come by nowadays, especially with all the accessories he came with. And with my friend's slim pickings of NES games here, none of them particularly rare, I'm definitely not going to find one here. What's that? What the? <laughs> Family computer robot. Japanese text. I don't read anything that's not English, so I do know a little Spanish from my high school days. But, uh, man, you must have been boxed up since the 80s. Let me get you out of there. I am Rob, Robotic Operating Buddy. Wow! A family computer robot! Straight from Japan! What are you doing here? I am here to enhance your gaming experience with games so intense they can't be played alone. Wow! I feel like a kid in the 80s! <laughs> Let's get you set up! Oh, wait, do you need any batteries? No, the ones in me are fine. Really? Like the 36-year-old ones? I mean, are you sure they aren't corroded? Indeed. There were no refurbishments that had to be taken place during the review. Yeah. None. All right, let's get you set up. Alright, Rob, let's play. Insufficient. I am not compatible with... Ghost. Okay, so you're telling me that not only can you talk, but you also have 36-year-old perfectly working batteries in you, and yet you can't play Joust? Correct. Okay, well, my friend has slim pickings. I mean, I don't think we have any Rob-compatible games for you. Check the box again. Out of. Don't you fit that perfectly? Is this what you're talking about? So this is Robot Black, known in the United States as Stack Up. This is the complete inbox copy. It comes with a manual that I can't read, some things to put on Rob, the game, the blocks which are very round, and most importantly, Rob's hands. First you turn on Rob in order to put his arms into his default position. Now this game's instruction manual may be in a language I don't understand, but fortunately this game's pretty intuitive. 
The game itself is a puzzle game. After setting up the platforms and blocks, you need to move the blocks to the positions the game tells you to as quickly as possible. You play as Professor Hector on the screen to communicate with Rob's eyes so he knows how to move. There's a test screen, direct control, bingo, where you're competing against various creatures and Professor Vector for control over Rob, and an option to plan out all of your movements in advance. You press start when you're done, so this is more like Pop the Pig game from Goliath rather than a traditional video game. I suppose a true speedrun of this game would involve pressing start as quickly as possible, because the game doesn't actually know when you finish. It's honestly super fun. I recommend playing this one. Oh no, Rob! Huh, stack up. More like fall down. Is that the best you can do? Hey, I'm the one writing the review here. You're just the eye candy. Look, um, stack up is great, but <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have gyromite on you, would you? In fact, I do. Oh, really? Blue box. Under the table. Check the blue box. What blue box? You sure about this, Rob? Yeah, it's fun. So this is the American version of Gyromite. This copy is a little roughed up, but I mean, what are you gonna do? It's a complete inbox copy of Gyromite. Every NES game comes with a few things. The sleeve right here, but also the manual, and it wouldn't be a complete inbox NES game without the piece of styrofoam that puts the cartridge to the top. All right, Rob, you got all your stuff. Let's play. Insufficient. I need gyros. You want a heckin' gyro now? All right, Rob, here's your stinking gyro. You idiot. That is not a gyro. Well, I, I tried. You did not try. You went to a hero restaurant. Okay, well, where do you want me to go, Greece? Yes, and stay there. <sighs> so these are the gyros. Very similar to spinning tops. Put one in reserve right here, and you put the other on the spinner. Taking 1D battery, it does just that. It spins. Probably sharpen a pencil on this thing. Put the controller in the tray right here. And now you're ready to play the game that is, quote, so intense you can't play it alone. Ah, uh, Gyromite, or Robot Gyro in Japan. This is the game that gets associated with Rob a lot because it's the most visually interesting. I don't have a complete inbox copy of Gyromite with all the accessories, so what I have here is the culmination of several eBay purchases, including 3D printed claw hands in order to grab the gyros. The gyros look even more like discs than the blocks do, but are ultimately more comparable to spinning tops. Rob's setup for Gyromite is much more complex than for stack up. The game follows Professor Hector who needs to avoid the dinosaur-like creatures called Smicks and collect dynamite. He can't open doors or jump, so he needs to be clever in avoiding the smicks. He can use vegetables to distract them, but that's a temporary solution to a permanent issue. He has to communicate with Rob to open the doors, but Rob moves so slowly it almost hinders the experience. This one can be played with another human operating the doors, but it seems to be the reason why other planned Rob games were scrapped. 
And that's it. Gyromite may have 40 levels, but Rob only has two games. And after playing both of them, you kind of get a good idea for what they both have to offer. And plus, if you were just looking at that footage, you can see Rob's a little hard to handle from time to time. So, I guess we're done. No. What do you mean, no? I will not go back. Okay, Rob, you only have two games. I mean, unless you want to play Life Force. That's a great two-player game. No. Okay, well, I don't want to play Gyromite or Stack Up anymore. don't understand. 36 years ago, I was created to fulfill a purpose. Once that purpose was fulfilled, I was left to rot, forgotten, considered obsolete. What? Well, listen, Rob, I, I have no hard feelings. It's just Jeremiah and Stack Up aren't for me. I will not be forgotten. Rob, there's something you gotta understand. People aren't obsolete. They can't be. But you, not even you, you're, you're not forgotten, not completely. Come on, let me show you something. Here, Rob, check this out. Rob, people still care about you. You're a part of history, a part of history that's very important to people like me. Thank you for showing me that Rob the Robot has not been forgotten. It's nice to see that people still care. Thanks for coming. Hey, don't mention it. So, how'd the Rob review go? Like how every Rob review ever has gone. The robot comes to life, fights the main character, and then the robot gets defeated. Um, except this one did end differently. I did like how um, there was a mature resolution at the end. Something really profound. Yeah, you know, we, uh, we wanted to do something more mature. I'm really proud of what we accomplished. Well, you aren't a kid anymore. Uh, I mean, I guess. <sighs> Isaac, I think you really know why I called you here. What? What do you mean? I really don't know why you called me here. Come on. I literally have kid in my name. Well, yeah, I was a kid when I made you. What do you expect? I think it's pretty 
safe to say that it's time to move on. Oh, come on. No, I... I don't want you to... I'm not killing you off. You're not gonna die. This isn't me dying. My spirit will live on in everyone who loves talking about video games. Heck, I mean, you're even going to be able to talk about video games even after you're not using me. You have so many creative ideas. Everyone has so many ideas. You don't need to use the crutch of the angry video game nerd anymore. You can use your own things. I believe in you. Goodbye, kid. Goodbye, Isaac.